Unsolved. Attachment to Episode 16. What if John Bonet came close to saying something about Fleet, either at the Christmas party, at the Ramsey house on December 23rd, or at the Christmas dinner at Fleet White's house? And Mr. Mom, Fleet, planned her murder to frame John and Patsy for the crime. Fleet knew John and Patsy would be sound asleep that night because of their early flight in the morning. Fleet drove there that night, parked in the back alley, used the key that Patsy had given them, and immediately went upstairs to get John Bonet. He took her into the basement, hit her in the head with the metal object, He planned out the fake ransom. He staged the murder. He made the garrote and strangled her. He placed her in the wine cellar to hide her body. And he made it look like one of her parents killed her. Fleet wrote the phony ransom note and left. The note took him less than 10 minutes to write. He fits the profile of the author of the note. Fleet was amazed that John and Patsy were not arrested for the murder of their daughter. There's no question that Fleet White is the more unstable character. He is labeled by reporters as, he seems to be going off the deep end. In a Time article, he is quoted as saying, somebody with an ax to grind needs to be running things. He writes an exceptionally long letter to the newspaper, and in that letter he conveys that he feels that he was strung along by the prosecutor into believing that charges were going to be brought against the Ramses. Fleet is upset that the Ramses are labeled cooperative and forthcoming. He does not like the fact that John's rights as a victim were protected. Fleet is upset that John Bonet's murder has messed up his life. This is the entranceway to the back alley to John Ramsey's house and Fleet's former house.